Okay, what we're going to talk about today is line. And so far, you have um, been doing contour line drawings. And you have your shoe drawing, which probably looks something like this. And what you see is that you have a lot of white space over here and down here. And in a drawing, that's called negative space. And it's bad. We don't like negative space in drawings. We want to use the space. So what we're going to talk about today is adding to this project. And we have a contour line drawing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little bit more about line and different ways to make lines. And then we're going to add some new lines to our drawing in order to make it look more interesting. So you're going to get a black and white handout that's going to have this on one side and this on the other. And that will give you some ideas as to what you can use um, for lines. But you're going to have to make up some of your own. So as you can see, there's lots of different ways to, to draw a line. Um, there's long, there's short, there's curved, there's thick, there's thin. Um, there's broken lines, there's wavy or curly lines. You've got vertical repeating lines, angled straight lines, but they're not all lined up. Um, varied lines, so they're kind of irregular. You've got tapered lines or diagonal, zigzag, dotted, um, horizontal, which goes with a horizon, or vertical, which is up and down, perpendicular, which is when one line forms a right angle with another one, parallel lines are right next to each other but never touching, spiral lines. So these are some different ideas of what lines can look like. Um, like I said before, we did contour line drawings with our pens or with our shoes, so that's like the outline. Um, lines can be used to show movement, so it kind of looks like waves crashing or no movement, like plants that are standing still without wind. Um, lines can be used to show mood, so this is kind of energetic, um, and there's just some different examples down here that you guys can look at. You're going to get this handout to look at. Please turn it back in at the end of the hour because I will be using it for other classes. But what we're going to do is, once you've done, you finished drawing your shoe like this, you're going to take a piece of white paper from my desk, just the white copy paper will be fine, and you're going to fold it in half and then fold it one more time open it up like that fold it in half the other way and then fold it one more time so you end up with 16 squares and this is your brainstorming paper. So in each of these squares, I want you to come up with a different, or I want you to fill it with a different type of line. So this one, I'm going to do spirals. Oops. Fill up the whole space. And then this one I'm going to do wavy lines. And I want you to notice that I'm deliberately paying attention to what my pencil is doing. I'm not just scribbling randomly. I'm controlling my pencil. Um, this one I'm going to do straight diagonal, but I'm going to have them, some of them wider and some of them closer together. So varied. Uh, 
Um, this one, I'm going to do a checkerboard. So I could go in there. or you could just leave it plain as a grid. Um, you can mix and match. So you could do um, diagonal lines and then a wavy line. And then maybe some thin lines together or narrow lines together and then a wavy and then the wide. Um, this one I'm going to do teardrops or raindrops. Oops. When you're doing repetitive lines like this, it's very it's very important to always be paying attention to what your pencil is doing. Don't get sloppy, and if you do, fix it. Um, this one I'm going to do a teardrop, or actually I'll do a star. Not my best star, but. And then I'm going to repeat around it. Notice it's okay to go have your lines extend off the page. That makes it more visually interesting. All right, so with each one, you're going to come up with different ones. There's tons of different ways you can draw lines. So you need to come fill this paper with those lines and then put your name on the back and turn it into the folder. The next thing you're going to do after you get the um, after you get your drawing done is you're going to take all these different line ideas and you're going to apply them to this. So what you're going to do is from the edge of your shoe you're going to divide whoops the negative space. I'm using curvy lines. You can use zigzag lines. Um, I'll turn it over so you guys can see it. So I'm, I'm separating this up into different sections. And then each of these sections we're going to fill with one of these patterns or one of these line designs that we did. So this one, I'll do the spirals. And I think what I'm going to do with the spirals this time is I'm going to make them completely smushed in and filling the space up completely.
All right, so you're kind of getting the idea. And then once you have all of the sections filled up with your line designs, you're going to come and get a Sharpie from me and you are going to outline everything that you did in pencil in Sharpie. So every pencil line gets outlined in Sharpie. All right, so like here where I've got these really fine lines, I'm going to have to be very careful. Not press very hard so I can still get my lines in there. So I'm carefully watching my lines, I'm carefully drawing over my pencil, and I'm not rushing through it. It will change the way your drawing looks, that's okay. 